Okay guys, I decided what I wanted to do here for the cover. So the first thing I want to do, while I'm waiting, this isn't dry yet, I'm still waiting for this to dry. So I want to go ahead and put this, um, adhere this lace. I might as well have it all drying at one time, right? Okay, so I am going to see how far, I guess all of that plastic area. If I need more, I can add more, but I like this pretty lace, and I'm hoping it sticks. I might have to go over the paper a little bit here on both sides because I'm, I'm hoping that it stays attached to the tape. If not, I'll have to come in with some heavier duty glue. So, but, oh yeah, there's plenty of that, so I can go back and put some on the paper. So I am going to go ahead and, I, I did cut a little bit extra because the design is not exactly symmetrical, and so I'm going to have to trim off the edges. But, alright, so let's see how much, oh yeah, we need to add quite a bit. All right. Come on. I'm always coaxing my glue. Okay. Looks like I went over a little bit. I'll get that in a minute. Let's see now. Now my glue wants to drip. All right. Try doing it under there so I know where it's going. Okay, and then I will trim that off after. Okay, so back to the cover. Um, I found this um, little faith, and because she's wanting to put some. Bible verses. She wants to write a Bible verse for every day of the week. Or no, every week of the year. So 52 Bible verses. Um, I thought faith would go well with that. So I'm because there's a rose up here in the corner already, I think I'm going to go lower third. But I'm, I've got some of this extra um, trim and I want to put that underneath. So I think I will glue that first and then decide where I want to put it. Is that that's should be enough. Which is there a right and a wrong side? There is, but can't really tell. hanging out the bottom so I think I'll probably put that right about right about there yeah about a third of the way from the bottom up from the bottom that down. I thought about using some cheesecloth or something like that, but then I I said, oh, I've got that, so that'll be perfect. I'm just going to press it with this for a second, hold it down, and then I've got, um, this is uh, one of the circles from the kit. They're actually quite a bit bigger. I just used my one and a half circle punch. I think that's what it is. 
Yep, one and a half. And ink the edges. And then I'm revisiting some of my eyelash trim here. So I want to put a little glob of glue on the back. And then I'm going to go around two fingers and set that down on there. Now, the glue is stuck to my fingers. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do with this is put that right here. So I'm going to need quite a bit of glue for this, a good glob, to get that to stay where I want it. There's a little rose right there in the corner, so I kind of want to, I want it to be able to see the face, but I want that, um, rose to be kind of there. Okay. And you can still read the face. And then I have this, um, this trim that I bought, it's a pearl wrap, and I have not used it. I just cut a piece off the bottom, so I think I'm going to run that along here, just along the edge here. Wow, that came out so thin. I didn't even have to coax it or anything. Just like that. So much glue and ink on my fingers. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put that back down on there to hold that. And we will let this dry. And probably what I'm going to do is, um, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to sew in the pages before I put the lace on. Sometimes the lace makes it difficult to see through, but that's all right. We'll make it work. We'll deal with it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sew the pages in, and then I'll be back with a flip through. This one is not... Um, too awful difficult. There's not a lot of um, pockets and tucks and tags, etc., because she wants it strictly for writing. So, anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back with uh, a flip through for you. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.